on March 13th, 1998, was why March Madness gets its name, when 13th seeded Valparaiso beat the number four seed on a last second shot that became known as the shot, and we see it every year during March Madness. Here's the story behind this iconic moment on Daily Sports History. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide to a rapid deep dive into sports history every day. Now before we can get to the shot, we need to go behind how both these schools ended up in this game. First, let's start with Old Miss. They're not nationally known as a basketball powerhouse, but this year was the sixth year under coach Rob Evans, and by the end of the year, they were ranked 13th in the nation with a 22 and 6 record and a top school in the Western Division of the SEC, beating four ranked teams that year, including a nine point win against Kentucky. And this was good enough to get them one of the fourth seeds in the tournament that year. And they had the SEC Player of the Year on their team and a second team All American. And Sue Cisse, a forward at 6'9, led the team in scoring with 18 points a game and rebounding with over seven and a half rebounds per game. And their opponent in this crazy game in the tournament was Valparaiso University, a small mid-major school, mid-continent conference. They led their conference in wins and made it all the way up to 23rd in the rankings that year, led by coach Homer Drew in his 10th season with the team. They were led by his son, a guard named Bryce Drew, who was a senior that year, who was the two-time conference player of the year. They didn't have any standout wins of note that year against any ranked opponents, but they did face Purdue and Stanford, both ranked that year, unfortunately in losing efforts. But they won their conference tournament, which led them to their 13th seed. And the game happened in Oklahoma City during the first round of the tournament. So this was a game that had both teams had the conference player of the year in their respective conferences. But with the Old Miss being in a major conference, such as the SEC, they were heavily favored over Valpo because many didn't know Bryce Drew would go on to be the 16th pick that year in the NBA draft. It was a close game throughout, with no one ever really separating. Although Old Miss was favored, Valpo kept it close the entire game. But although as time was dwindling down, they were down 69-67, to with less than 10 seconds left to play, when Bryce Drew of Valparaiso took a three, but it's not the one we all remember. He missed it, and Old Miss grabbed the rebound with five seconds left, and Old Miss's Cisse grabbed the rebound with five seconds left. It was immediately fouled. Sent to the free throw line, he was a 72% free throw shooter, and he had made three of his last five attempts that game. And he could go up and clinch the game by making both free throws. But he missed the first one. And Valpo called a timeout to put together the play. The play was known as the Pacer. As Valpo is in Indiana, and the Indiana's pro basketball team is called the Pacers. But it all relied on Valpo getting the ball back. So when Cissé missed his second free throw, the ball went loose, and Old Miss's guard, Keith Carter, knocked it out of bounds with 2.5 seconds left to go and forced to go the length of the court in that amount of time. So the inbound, the play that we all remember revolves around the inbound passer throwing the ball over the midcourt line to a player near the top of the three-point line. And then Bryce Drew would come running up, streaking down the sideline, to get a handoff-like pass to shoot a wide-open three. And that's exactly what happened. Jamie Sykes threw the ball to Bill Jenkins, who outjumped a Rebels defender, and immediately handed the ball off to Bryce Drew, who shot a 23-foot three-pointer and sank this one as he was wide open. As time expired, Valpo won, 70-69, to eliminating Old Miss from the tournament. Now, this wasn't the end of the the story, because Valpo went on to win 
their next game against Florida State, and another nail-biter that went into overtime, winning 83-77, to being the first time the school had ever made it to the Sweet 16. Unfortunately, they met number 8, Rhode Island, in the Sweet 16 and lost 68-74. to But this run will always be remembered for the shot that gets played every year and has been redone by multiple teams in the tournament or any other game that comes down to the wire and will never be forgotten as we all love the madness of March. Thank you for joining us on today's Daily Sports History. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please follow us on our socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Threads, wherever you like to socialize. Come join our community. Tell us how much you like it. Enjoy the little video clips and all our posts that we do on those platforms. And come back tomorrow for more Daily Sports History.